Hi everybody, good afternoon. It is lunchtime, it's quarter to one on this Sunday, the 5th of June. And look, I'm looking at the camera. Yay! Because I got some really negative feedback this weekend. It's been quite a horrible social media time for me. Um, and this video was going to be um, a what I dress like in a week what I wear in a week um but I thought it was necessarily necessarily to come on here necessary to come on here to talk about negativity and online bullying um so I've got my cup of tea and this is going to be quite a serious video for me which I don't really like making because I do these videos to make memories and to look back on in years to come and be like oh yeah we went here and we went there I don't really like making negative videos on my channel but at the same time this video does need to be done it is a taboo subject um, and I'm doing it for you basically um because i know several of you struggle with this and i do as well um, and it really needs to be talked about on loads of different platforms so that's what i am going to be doing today um so when i started my social media journey i was 13 i was quite a naive 13 year old and peer pressure at school got me going um and said the girl said Kate you need Instagram you basically need it and I was like obviously well, I'm different I've got cerebral palsy so I'm different in the first place so I really wanted to be the same in any way that I could fit in at school so I thought yeah well, I download Instagram okay it's a bit like Facebook because I'd already got Facebook so I thought yeah 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 that's fine I can do that so I started making videos on there, didn't I? And um, <laughs> that escalated into what I do now, really. It was never the plan of action. You can believe that or not, but it really wasn't the plan of action at all. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really know that everyone, t Tom, Dick and Deirdre, could actually see my videos. I just thought they were going out to school friends. Well, people at school, not friends. Um, so, you know, I had, had no idea whatsoever what I was letting myself in for, which probably didn't help. Um, so I did Instagram for three or four years, like, con con continuously. Um, and then I took a little bit of a break. I actually deleted Instagram for a bit. I was like, oh. But no negativity. I had no negative comments whatsoever in the four years that I did it constantly. Um, but then I came back. And it was when I came back to Instagram, then things started to change because at the same time, I downloaded YouTube and I got a YouTube account, which I don't regret in any way, shape or form, but that has really, really um, started the hate trail. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, I don't get any hate on here, thank goodness, not that I want any, um, but I do get hate on other social medias and it's really, really ugh. And I got one yesterday going, Kate, you never look at the camera, which is why I made a comment earlier about looking at the camera. Um, because, you know, vlogging doesn't come with a rule book. It doesn't say you have to look at the camera. You know, I film on my phone, so very often I look where it's filming and not at the little dot there where the pen is pointing and um, you know that comes with practice i've only been doing these for three years you know give me a break um so as you may or may not know i like karen carpenter i'm a big fan of the carpenter's music and when i was thinking about how to word this particular video um i thought about the carpenters because i'm a massive fan of karen she has like the most amazing voice i often say the karen carpenter look when i have my hair down which is why i got my hair down today and um, and when i wear those you know brown trousers and black loose trousers i always say the karen carpenter trousers um, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about what happened to Karen if you are young and don't really know. So Karen and Richard were brother and sister, they're from America, and they set up a band called the Carpenters in the late 60s, early 70s. And it was all going well, lovely. Karen was his younger sister, so you know, she was like the baby, and Richard was very good on the piano and 
uh, Karen was very good on the drums and she was a brilliant singer. And then an article came up. Now these days it would be social media, which is why I'm telling you this story. But in those days, obviously, social media didn't exist, so it was newspapers. And this newspaper article about their new single, I think it was Close to You, um, which is an, a brilliant song. And it said in the article, Richard and his chubby younger sister, Karen. It didn't say Richard and his younger ca sister, Karen. It said chubby sister, Karen. What do you think happened next? You guessed it. Karen stopped eating. She um, got thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, and then in 1974, she was at her heaviest but her healthiest um, and then she started spiralling again and she died in 1983 at the age of 32 so very very young but the meaning to that story is your words whatever you type on here dms private message call it what you like actually affect people they affect up here they affect body image because I've been called fat in the past on here. And I'm like, hello, I, I know I like my food. But at the same time, you know, I've never been over a certain weight. You know, I've always been quite petite and quite skinny. Um, and I'm five stone 11 pounds, just in case any of you wanted to know that. Um, but even though I know that I'm not fat, those comments do something up here that make you think, am I really fat? Do you know what I mean? And even though that I'm not, and I know I'm not, it does do something to your brain that just triggers something off. Like I used to snack quite a lot during the day, like chocolate, Haribo's, but now I don't. I have my breakfast, I have a coffee at 11, I've got my cup of tea now, and that's it till dinner time. <laughs> food wise so I had my breakfast this morning I had a healthy wrap um, and then that's it then till dinner time and then I have a trifle for pudding about an hour later um, so you know I'm not over indulging um, but it does make you wonder about young people doesn't it because very often young people do get a bad, pre bad press and 9 times out of 10 that does get on my nerves but at the same time I totally understand where people are coming from because um, it is mainly young people who are giving hate to other people online and the Ingham, fam Ingham family, Sarah, Chris and their four children are a prime example of that um, so I don't watch their videos religiously but I watch them if they pop up <laughs> if that makes sense on my recommended or online on here and um, Sarah did a video that um, I was just like wow like i had to watch it um and it was about izzy their oldest daughter who i believe is 15 in september and um she was sarah was saying that isabel izzy had been getting some hate online um and that had really really obviously upset her and i was just like why why would you bully children why why what do you get out of that the attention is it the attention? Because you're certainly not worth attention if you do that. And then there was another one, um, Warren Conway and Carrie Conway. They have three girls. And um, I followed them online. And what, what Warren posted up about this mum, and she said something like really bad, like, I hope your children die of coronavirus. And I was like, but that lady is a mum. She's a mum of children herself. Why do that? Do you know what I mean? It's like the mentality of some people does actually worry me. And um, oh, it just, the hate has to stop. And then you look at Caroline Flack, the beautiful, talented Caroline Flack, who took her own life earlier this year because of media attention and she couldn't cope with it. And it's just like... <sighs> Like, if that hasn't taught us a lesson, then I don't know what has. And then you get, um, you know, racism and sexism and 
disabledism, I don't know whether that's a thing, but people who are discriminated against being disabled, um, obviously I fall into the disability category, um, but there's no need for it, we're all different, we all should be celebrating our differences, you know, I don't see why people have to hate, it's jealousy as well of course, people are very jealous of people, and jealousy is... I'm going to say a killer, but you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, that's really the end of the video. Um, hopefully you have liked this video. I don't think like is the right word. But hopefully you take something from this. Um, if you are struggling with anything that I've mentioned in the video, then my door is always open. Please feel free to comment underneath or private message me and then we can have a chat. Talking is the best medicine. Like seriously, if you're going through online bullying yourself, then talking to someone is absolute key. So make sure you do do that, please. And uh, I shall see you tomorrow for my next video and hopefully something a little bit more positive. Have fun, everyone. Bye.